get going. What's this first word that you see? Fascination. Okay, so would you be able to make a sentence with this word? I am proud of my fascination for biology. <laughs> wow, that was a nice one. <laughs> What's this word? Vacant. Vacant. Okay. Do you know the meaning of vacant? Vacant means uh, a place that's empty. For example, you can say that this seat is vacant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ex absolutely. What's this one? Increase. Okay, and what is the antonym for this word? Decreased. What is this word? Dissatisfied. Okay, and the opposite of it? Satisfied. Okay. This one? Tolerance. Mm -hmm. Can you make a sentence with tolerance? Tolerance is an important ability or skill in life. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is this one? Acknowledge. Do you like to acknowledge your mistakes, Henry? Of course, it is an important skill, but I admit I don't always do that. <laughs> okay. What is this word? Multitude. Multitude. Okay. What's this? Photography. And this one? Simultaneous. Okay. So what would this mean? When you're doing something simultaneously, you're doing something while you're also performing another task. For example, you are simultaneously uh -huh. watching TV while reading a newspaper. That would be using simultaneously. Oh yeah, absolutely. You're right about that. Okay, and what is this word? Treachery. Okay, and what does it mean? What does it mean? Treachery Treacher is something that is done by a person which is uh, not supposed to be, uh, it is not supposed to be true. It is usually like lying and it is like trickery. It's something that is not done with good intention. Mm -hmm. Okay, so something that is deceptive, like yes. is treachery. Okay, what is this word? Low. Mm -hmm. So, can you make a sentence with it? Uh, I love tomatoes. Basically, I hate <laughs> tomatoes. I don't actually do that. Do you really? No, I, I don't actually <laughs> like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So, what was this guy in Lois High? What was he fighting for? An end to child labor. Yeah, and um, what was he, what, what did he think these kids were actually, uh, what was he demanding these kids to have? He was demanding that the kids have an actual childhood so that they could actually experience what normal kids should. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. He knew that a photograph was a powerful tool. By taking pictures of children working in harsh and dangerous conditions, he could help bring about reform. He said, if I could tell the story in words, I wouldn't need to lug around a camera. Because he felt so strongly about this, he quit his teaching job and became an investigative photographer for the National Child Labor Committee. This was a group started in 1904 to work for child labor reforms. Hine traveled around the country. He took pictures at mines, mills, and factories where children worked. Often he was threatened by owners who did not want anyone to see the conditions. Okay, thank you. And so what does it mean to be an investigative photographer? Essentially, he takes photographs and travels around the country so that he can bring about change and take photographs so that people would actually know what is going on. It's sort of, exactly. just like the name suggests, it is an investigation. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so why do you think the owners started threatening him? Well, because the owners at the time they relied on not having people know about the conditions the children were actually in, and by exposing those conditions, he was making them angry because they would lose the practically free labor that child labor presents. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, awesome. All right. So according to that last story that we read about Lewis Hine, so in your opinion, Henry, why do you think these factory owners or these owners of you know mills and mines, why do they use kids to do the work of adults? Okay, so 
can you read that for me? Because back then, child labor was an easy and cheap source of labor, plus children were less tall so they could fit in tight spaces. Okay, plus children were less tall so they could fit in tight spaces. Okay, all right, so that's probably a good answer too. So the next question that I have for you is, so if you could think about three words that you would like to use to describe Lewis Hine, what kind of three words would you use and why would you use those three words? I would choose motivated, dedicated, and confident. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you explain why you have chosen those three words in writing? Because he was extremely motivated and dedicated. Okay, go ahead. He was? He was extremely dedicated to stopping child labor as he decided to quit his job and dedicate his full time to this. He was also motivated and confident since he did not give in to the factory owner's threats. Okay, and so this is the reason why you chose motivated, dedicated, and confident? Yes. Oh, okay.